Let me get into the other news uh, now, ladies and gentlemen. And again, after Raymond leaves us sometime in the next hour, I will cover Russian forces to provide security at U.S. events. What's behind that? I'm going to have the next issue of the magazine, the August issue. I'm going to have that. I'm going to write articles with all the facts because no one seems to get the big picture that's hiding in 100% plain view sitting on top of us. I mean, it's all public, the plan to occupy the U.S. with foreign troops and every other country. Don't you understand? They're just acclimating. I've had foreign troops walk up on tape and tell me, turn my camera off. In America, I made films 13, 14 years ago showing you troops training and saying they're training to take on Americans. Do you not understand that? In all the video games, in all the movies, in the ROCT, ROCT training. It's always fighting gun-owning, right-wing militias. And it's very racist. It's always fighting white people in the manuals. That white males are the enemy. They don't want a new world order. Used to it was we believe in a new world order and a foreign global takeover by mega banks and all the rest of this. Go read the ADL Southern Poverty Law Center demonizing yours truly. Now it's we're bad because we oppose it. We're the real Americans. Black, white, it doesn't matter. They want to frame it, though, like only hillbillies from Michigan or Texas in all these video games or Tennessee or Alabama. Uh, oh, I don't want to be pro, you know, sovereignty and Bill of Rights. That's only white crackers that do that. I mean, that's, a, you know, the media always calls me and goes, so you're for national sovereignty and don't want open borders, don't want carbon taxes and don't want your guns taken. Are, are you a racist? The Austin American Statesman asked me that one time and actually published it. And I said, well, what, how do you respond to a question like that? What does this have to do with race? It was an issue of guns. It wasn't even borders. And this is what they do. I am an American patriot whose family goes back on both sides to the founding, not of the country, but to what became the colonies. My family has been here on both sides from the beginning. My family has done nothing in both sides of its lineage but defend liberty and defend freedom and defend this country and help found the state of Texas. And I won't even get into all of that. I'm a real American. I'm a good guy. I recognize the enemy takeover. It's in my guts. It's in my genes. It's in my blood. That's why I didn't have to be told to do this. I instantly began resisting it from day one as soon as I discovered it. And that's not because I'm a hero. It's because I simply want justice and liberty. I don't like being conquered. I don't like being usurped. I don't like seeing paramilitary police parading around openly preparing for war with the American people. I'm not the enemy of these police either. They've been incrementally brainwashed, brought into this from birth. The cartoons are all about UN occupation. The cartoons when I was a kid were about gun owners being bad. We have been brought up in a giant lie and it's time to awaken from it now. NLE09, go pull it up on FEMA's own website. Troops from 15 countries trained to deal with the civil unrest in America. They will bring in foreign troops, and by then, it'll be so acclimated. The uniforms have already been merged a decade ago. They've all joint trained. The local police have trained with Russians and Czechs and Polish, and it doesn't matter. Because it's part of a global mega banking plan that's playing the countries off against each other. So there's a mega corporation above everything that then plays different regions off against each other. You've got all these police programs in every major city where the police for 20 years are sent to Tokyo. And then in the case of Austin, and then the Tokyo cops come here and then they do agreements where they can arrest people there. Blah, blah, blah. It's all global government. Look at Snowden. He went to 20 Countries, 21 nations asking for asylum and none of them, but one communist state. And as much as I don't like Venezuela socialist and communist, I've told you they're rogue. They're out there pretty much on their own. That's why the whole world wants to bring them down. I don't agree with their policies, but that's its own country. They're saying maybe, but they're all so scared because it's not just America they're dealing with. It's this global mafia where they want to be able to grab anybody they want anywhere where you have no rights, you have no justice, you have no privacy, you have no freedom. And then the made men of the UN, Rockefeller, Rothschild, Sachs, Coburg, Gotha combine, they are 110% above the law and can do anything they want. It even came out in the New York Times last year that the UN sent in troops in Central Africa, but also in South America, and it lists the countries, to kill whole villages of people 
when land had been laid aside as a carbon sink off limits, they go and kill the villagers that live on it. They, they, they line them up and shoot them. But hey, Miss America always says the UN loves me. And, you know, every good looking girl you see at the shopping mall is wearing a UNICEF shirt because that's what good looking women do because they saw Miss America do it. And Miss America and Miss USA, they say you need to have the NSA spying on you. You see, we're just roasting in this broth of fraud and poison. And now it's all, yes, yeah, so the Russian troops will be at high security events of the U.S. now running things. Just Russian troops. I got video from L.A. coming up. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.